In this lecture, presented by www.free-academy.com, I'm going to make good on my promise from the integration by parts lecture, and I'm going to show you that our formula for integration by parts can actually uh, turn into the chain rule, or you can derive this from the chain rule. And uh, it's actually it's a really simple derivation to do. I have here uh, the formula, the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. That's our integration by parts formula. We're, I'm going to do something really simple. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. Alright, now remember from our uh, integration rules lecture, that whenever we take the derivative of the integral, we get back the original function. So we get to cancel out the derivative and the integral signs, which is going to give us u dv equals the derivative of uv minus v du. We'll move uh, v du to the other side and reorganize things. Grab a different color here and we get that the derivative of u and v equals u dv minus v du. And this is our uh, product rule of derivatives. If you were to place u with f of x and v with g of x, it would be written exactly the same as the way we did it uh, before in the derivatives part. And I'm going to run through uh, the derivation just to be complete, uh, taking you from uh, the product rule to integration by parts. It's uh, exactly the same, so feel free to skip out of this if you don't want to see it. But if this is what you're looking for, then, you know, great. So the derivative of f of x, get rid of that prime there, f of x, g of x, equals f prime of x g of x plus g prime of x f of x. Alright, and at this point I'm just going to write f of x as f and g of x as g, just to save a little bit of time. Alright, so now we're going to integrate both sides. Take the integral of f and g equals the integral of f prime g plus the integral of g prime of f. And just to uh, rewrite this in a more familiar way, we have the derivative of f and g equals the integral of g df plus f dg. This is, of course, exactly you know, the same as everything before. Now, like before, we can uh, just go and we can cancel out our integrals with derivatives. And then uh, we'll rearrange our terms a little bit. And what we'll get uh, by moving f of g to one side and g df to the other side is we'll get the integral of g df equals f g minus the integral. I did I do that right? Okay, yeah. Sorry, I just made a little mistake with writing my negatives. So we'll actually leave the f of g on the one side and then move the f dg to the other side. That was a really silly mistake on my part. Sorry about that. Okay, so the integral of g df equals f of g minus the integral of f dg. And our integration by parts formula. 